And I've heard an incredible story about how you became known or how you came to the, the knowledge of VMI. What, what, what exactly happened? Because I'm very confused about it all. Um, well, we just we made the record on Fatal Records, as somebody said before. We sent it to uh, pop mags over in England and America and France, all over the world. And uh, fortunately, it had good reviews in it, you know, like in Enemy and Sounds and Melody Maker. And uh, <coughs> EMI London heard about the reviews and uh, got in touch with EMI here. And, uh, you know, that's what landed the contract, you know, and as well as lots of fans riding over from England because we gave them an address to get in touch with Australia. Really? Yeah, sort of like, uh, so <coughs> if, you want a record, if you want a record, write to Australia. Really? Uh, we'll we'll send you one. We'll we'll send you. We'll them in the garage or something. <laughs> and that's what we did. We <laughs> sent them over to England. We sent them over to That's fantastic. Uh, yeah. How many did you make? How many did you press? 500. Did you? And how many did you send away? Uh, I'm not sure the actual figures. <coughs> 400. Oh, 400, not just four. <laughs> I was going to say I had to sort of divide it you and know, lend them over. And so you sent away 400. And then, and then how many did you sell altogether? Nearly 20,000 you sold? Uh, 15,000 because we got a record contract in England before we got a record contract here for the single. And we sold about 14,000, 15,000 for oh. the single. So you then went on, went on pressing it? And have you got another one? Are you doing another one at the moment? Have you got one being...? No, we've got the album out, and there might be a single taken from the album, re-recorded version of one of the songs. Um, apart from that, we'll be working on new stuff, I think. Why do you call yourself The Saints? Um, it's a good name. Is there anything behind the way you look? I mean, you've got, I mean do you consider you have an image? <coughs> my mother and my father. Oh, really? <coughs> why is that? Please explain. They're the ones that begot me, so to speak. Oh. That's why I look this way. Do you? Yeah. No, we haven't got an image. We've just, oh, we have got an image, the same as everybody's got an image, but it's a natural image. We're just ourselves. <laughs> what do you think is important about life? What's important to you, Chris? To me? A yeah. new pair of pants at the moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> no, see, um, it's real old these days, Chris. Uh, on one level, there's a... I love a lot of affluence, and it's the same old story, you know. And things today, well, with the demise of the 60s culture, and that young people who were once your friends have now grown up and become your enemies, and are amalgamated into the status quo. And with their control on the rock music, everything's just stuffed. Are you talking about age? Are you talking about... No, age ain't, ain't no consideration. It's kind of attitude, more or less. What do you think it's got like, to do with complacency. making money? Complacency. Yeah, probably. I mean, everyone has to be secure. And there's this real dumb notion that money equates with security. And that's just... Well, how are you going to deal with it if you... I mean, I think you're going to be successful. How are you going to deal with it if you are successful and make money? Well, we'll just play it by ear. And, you know, if the situation comes where I have to say... Uh, <clears throat> or become something like a corner of the masses... Because well, at the moment we're not. Because we haven't had the chance, because we haven't been it that long. But if it came to the stage where Ian Moore said to me, you have to play this and do that, um, just because it's going to sell a lot of records, and I might think that it's blatantly wrong, you know, it's f***ed that for a joke. That's, that's the only thing. Now, uh, tell me about your music. Oh, uh, it's original music. You write it yourself? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Who writes the lyrics? Oh, uh, Chris. Chris does, the drummer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny, you're very funny. I mean, you, you lyrics, are they comic lyrics? The Laugh, yeah. <laughs> and who's the singer? Me. You're the singer as well? Yeah. I see. Do you, why don't you let anyone else do anything? Because they're stupid. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. And who writes the music? Do you do that as a collective no, thing? You do that? I write the drum music. <laughs> you write the drum music too? Yeah. And you use your gold records for cymbals? <clears throat> no. I use cymbals as cymbals. I see. I use Zildjian and Post, and I recommend Rogers as a <laughs> and I'd like to get a blank balance at this point. <laughs>